Joel chapter 2. Some of you have lost all kinds of things. Everything to be lost has left you. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You have lost joy. You have lost strategic resources. It's time to have it back. Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years. If God cannot restore time, then he is not greater than time. If it is, he is greater and higher than the realm of time, then he must sustain the ability to restore time. Jeremiah 30 and verse 17. Please give it to us quickly. We are praying. Someone's life is changing. For I will restore health unto you. Those failing organs. Those failing body parts. You are just 20, 30. And yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things. It's time to be angry. God does not just restore time. God restores health and vitality. Psalm 41, 1 to 3. Shabakaparakatosiata. Blessed is the man that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He says, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. He says, thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Shout verse 3 together. The Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing. And I will make all his bed in sickness. God will not allow him to die. Not allow him to deplete and famish. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory, he says, after that ye have suffered a while, what does he do? Make you perfect. Establish you. Strengthen you. And then settle you. Say it again. Make you perfect. Establish you. Strengthen you. And then settle you. Say, Father, I decree. I declare divine restoration of opportunities, of relationships, of resources, of men, of my joy. Now, open your mouth and pray. Restoration. 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 Restore joy. Restore years. Restore things. Restore men. Restore resources. Shabakaparos. <laughs>